eternal rest, grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, glory of the faithful and life of the just, by the death and resurrection of, of whose Son we have been redeemed, look mercifully on your departed servants, that just as they profess the mystery of our resurrection, so they may merit to receive the joys of eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The just man, though he die early, shall be at rest. For the age that is honorable comes not with the passing of time, nor can it be measured in terms of years. Rather, understanding is the hoary crown for men, and an unsullied life the attainment of old age. He who pleased God was loved. He who lived among sinners was transported, snatched away, lest wickedness pervert his mind, or deceit beguile his soul. For the witchery of paltry things obscures what is right, and the whirl of desire transforms the innocent mind. Having become perfect in a short while, he reached the fullness of a long career, for his soul was pleasing to the Lord. Therefore he sped him out of the midst of wickedness, but the people saw and did not understand, nor did they take this into account. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> he will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the will of my Father, says the Lord, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in Him may have eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. If you have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Today the church celebrates the commemoration of all holy souls who have passed away. Years ago, I did a, a, a video and put it on our YouTube page and Facebook page, a little five-minute catechism on why do Catholics pray for the dead. It tried to answer a lot of questions uh, in a very brief time period because people would often try to convince me that what we do, what I do, was wrong. Uh, they would accuse myself and others of divination, you know, like trying to contact the dead, to try to have influence, and all kinds of other various uh, ideas. But very few actually stop and ask the question, why? Sincerely, why? And I thought that very odd because, and I say this respectfully, I don't go to your house and tell you how to run your house, do I? No. To those watching, I don't go to your house, wherever you are, and tell you how to run your house and live your life, do I? No. Why do you try to convince me that what I do is wrong? I don't understand that. Because to me, it makes perfect sense to pray for the dead. Because let's be honest, we pray for people all the time. We do the prayers of the faithful in Mass. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for various groups. We pray for each other. Say a prayer for me. I'll say a prayer for you. But also, something occurred to me in my prayer this morning was thinking as I get a little older, thinking about different people that I have come into contact with in my life. Just to say to God, thank you for that individual. I don't know where they're at now. They may be alive, they may be dead, but thank you. What happens if they're alive? I thank God for them and I say, Lord, help them, wherever they are, to, to be a better person. Help them to, to, to live a good life. If they're Catholic, so be it. If they're Jewish, so be it. If they're Protestant, so be it. I, whatever they are, help them to live a good life. They were nice to me back then. Just, well, if they're alive, we would say, oh, yes, that's fine, that's fine. But what happens if they're dead? Does God go, yeah, sorry, that's a prayer I can't answer because they're dead? No, no, I don't believe so. Nor do I believe he just transfers it on to another person and goes, well, I know you prayed for person X and they're dead. Uh, so uh, I'm going to just move it to person Z. Yeah, I don't think God works that way either. Why can't we just stop and thank God for the people that we've come into contact with in our lives and say, Lord, thank you for them. I pray that they have a, a good relationship and live a good life. I pray that you bless them every day and that they're able to experience you in a deep way and go to heaven. If they're alive, so be it. And if they're dead, so be it. Because everyone is alive in you, God. Everyone is alive in you. Your son said that. When he said, God is the God of the living, not of the dead. So today, as we gather to pray, and we remember especially those names that you 
have written that are placed upon our altar? We pray for these people. And let us also remember all the people that have come into our life in any way. I know it's too hard to recall every person, but make a general, a general intention. Lord, for all those people that have come into my life, those who have, inf who have influenced me for the positive, and those that I may not have had the best experience with, but in essence, they've influenced me because I knew that this is not the way I wanted to act or treat others. So that's a positive thing that I've learned also. But Lord, I pray for them too. Whether they're alive or dead, I pray for all. May they come into a deep relationship with you. And one day, may we all rejoice together with you in heaven. I think that's a way to honor both the living and the dead today. I'll leave you with that. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray our creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And of the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, and according to the scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video, and for the needs of you here present in our chapel this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray especially for all our holy dead that God's blessings, His light of grace may shine upon them. This is the intention for our Mass, as we remember that they pray for us as well. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work with human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and works of human hands will become our spiritual drink. 
blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Almighty and merciful God, by means of these sacrificial offerings, wash away, we pray, in the blood of Christ, the sins of your departed servants. For you purify unceasingly by your merciful forgiveness those who were once cleansed in the waters of baptism through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you. And with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, for the sign and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And at the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Say, God, Savior of the world, or write your cross and resurrection. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. <coughs> Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed open, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Lay not our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy if you should enter under my roof, but only the same word in my soul shall be healed. <clears throat> That perpetual life shall upon you, O Lord, with your saints forever, for you are precious. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of your only begotten Son, who was satisfied, who was sacrificed for us and rose in glory, we humbly implore you, O Lord, for your departed servants, that cleansed by the Paschal mysteries, they may glory in the gift of the resurrection to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. O St. Michael, you are our angel. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him when we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praise is protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. 
Blessed be Jesus, the Lord of the Holy Sacrament, the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the consoler. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, Mother of Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, and his angels, and his saints.